Hello all, welcome to QValidation.com. So in this video, we will see how we can run our Maven test in IntelliJ IDE. Okay, so in our last video, we have seen how we can download the Maven and also install and uh, do basic setup to get started with. Okay, so the link to the my previous video will be listed into the description below you can watch it later okay so now today we will be seeing how we can execute the maven test on intellij ide okay so if you want to see how we can execute the maven test on eclipse ide you can refer to my blog even the same desk same link i can give into the description below okay so let's get started so the first thing what you need to do so you need to download the intellij ide okay so what you can say uh, download intellij ide okay and uh, you can see so it is under jetbrains.com uh, url so you can go get into this okay and you can download the community edition okay uh, so it's a exe file as usual installation will be done um, basic installation once you are done with the installation then you will get something like this so i have already installed so i may not be able to show you that but um, you might be able so what you can do you can see a create new project okay so once you get that what you can do you can so maven will be by default under the intellij ide if not you can install the maven plugin okay so what you can do create a new project and then click on maven and then you can leave as it is all this uh, because we don't need any kind of architecture type for this okay and then you can click on next okay so group id yeah so this basically is the id that is the same rule applies to your java packages that uh, it should be in small letters okay so i am giving something okay and ar artifact id is nothing but your project name so what i can do my maven test one because i have already created one test so i can give as a test one okay and click on next and i want to save it under my directory c colon slash my intellij project and under that this is my own project okay so just click on finish and you will be seeing a brand new project okay so and as we discussed in our previous video that uh, the maven is coming default with a pom.xml okay and here you can give all your library version and their uh, the library name and the version so that the maven can download all those repos uh, all those uh, libraries for you from the central repository so today i will be showing you how we can get to know the library file uh, so we we call the library uh, details uh, uh, as a dependencies so we will give that library name and version in terms of a dependency which the maven will download that okay so let's see the folder structure so this is some basic uh, idea the id related files and then this is what we are going to use it okay so main java and there is another j test underscore java so either you can create your class files under this java or else under the main java as well so what i can do let me right click and new java class and i can say my test just i'm giving any test name okay and uh, then what i can do i can create public static void main string ox okay and then i can give here uh, i'm just writing one small <coughs> system dot out dot print ln okay so here i can say that welcome to maven project okay so once i am done with this so i have to add some dependencies to 
run the java file okay so i have already that with me so let me just copy paste that so i need two dependencies so one will be the maven surefire plugin and another will be maven compiler pro plugin okay so these two will be so i can add another uh, tag is uh, dependencies okay and then i can copy this and then i can do a close for dependencies okay fine now as soon as i did a control s it gives you a pop-up which says that the maven projects needs to be imported so these plugins needs to be imported from the central repository and i will be showing you how we can identify the surefire plugin dependency okay so let me just import that so by the time it is importing i will show you how we can do that so if i search directly maven surefire plugin dependencies okay you can see that so it will give you the dependency details and you can directly copy paste that and uh, put it into your pom xml okay so my dependencies are uh, already imported so now the next thing what i can do i can go to my test right click you can see something here is run my test dot main so main method i want to run it right so let's just run that okay so it is building and then running your test you can see that output welcome to maven project okay so this is one way you can uh, do and let's see that uh, if i want to run a test ng class how i can do that so for that i have to install the test ng dependencies now i will show you how we can search it so what you can do test ng dependencies you can directly search into the google so it will either you can go to the testng.org or else this is your maven repository.com so mbn repository.com so under this you can search any kind of libraries that you need so let me go to the 6.11 and uh, i can just directly copy paste this and what i can do under the dependency i'll just create another dependency and what i need to do control s you can see here import plugin so it will download all the details of the test engine library and then i can go and click on new and i can create a java class because i don't have any test engine specific class so i have to create here so let me give some name uh, and then click on ok now here i am not going to give the public static void main rather i can give test here ok test and i can give ok sorry uh, public void let's do a setup just some function name i can give and then i can give a system dot out dot print ln ok so here i can say welcome to maven test ng project fine and then just save it okay already it imported the package okay now right click the same way now here what you can do now if you if you do directly run as the maven test ng class it won't create any kind of result file for you so what you can do you can go under this uh, run edit configuration so here you will get something called as test ng okay so what you have to do here you have to go to the parameters listeners and under listeners what you can do you can click on this option use default reporters okay and then click on okay and now let's see run this So it's parsing the java file it will build and then it will execute your test 
fine so you can see here total number of test run is one and failures are zero and skips are zero and then hopefully we will get a test output folder as we had done without maven right before so now click on this and you can open that and it will give you the report for that so what you can do you can go here index.html and then somewhere you need to find open with let's see open with open browser open in browser and then let's say that chrome and you can see the test result okay so this is just a basic test ng class how to execute and a non test ng class how you can execute that okay and there is something so now in the pom.xml if you see here we had uh, given so many dependencies right to uh, i mean get the libraries uh, importing the libraries from the maven repository now where exactly this stores so the default location will be so as you had observed in our previous video where i exactly installed my apache maven that is i mean where i extracted that is under this right under my tools and then i can go to apache maven and then under this you can see the con folder and under this something called as a settings.xml okay so uh, let's see that here okay so you will see the setting.xml in the same location on your local folder where you exactly downloaded your apache maven and extracted that right and you had done certain environmental variables now here something you will see the local repository option okay so by default what it does it will give it will keep under your user folder under that dot m2 and repository okay but uh, you don't want to keep it under your c uh, colon slash your user and then dot empty m2 and then repository rather you want to keep it into a separate folder that also you can do that so the maven gives you an option what you can do you can copy this and paste it here outside because this is basically your comment right so this doesn't consider uh, okay while building your project rather what you can do you can copy paste that outside and you can give the path of the folder where you want to download your the libraries or the jar files from the pom.xml okay so once you give all this uh, this particular file folder name what you can do you can so first thing you need to do go into your apache maven folder under that you need to find it out the con folder c o n f under that you need to find out the settings.xml okay so once you get that you have to find out the local repository tag and you have to give the folder where you want to download all your and these particular dependencies okay once you are done with that what you can do you can go to the file and you can either go to the settings or else you can go to somewhere other settings that is my default setting so here you can see so this will be by default coming into your machine as well so under the build execution deployment you can see there is something called as build tool and then maven so here what you can do you can click on override and give the settings.xml so by default what happens whenever you download and uh, extract your settings.xml it will be under your .m2 folder and another copy will be on your this folder so what you can do you can give this settings.xml by default i mean automatically this folder this path will be auto populated because you had already set into the settings.xml right and you can just do apply and click on ok once you're done with that and whatever now dependencies you will add it will be into your your specified folder instead of your the c users dot m2 and uh, the specific folder into your user directory okay so that's all uh, i had to show today